Hello, people. I am Jabby Kowe. Joining us is Natalia Abelieda. Hola. <laughs> Abelieda. Sí. Muy bien. Abelieda. Yeah, yeah. I'll get it before the year's over. We're going to look at middle class restaurant problems, stand up comedy by Kenny Sebastian. expensive restaurant and now ordering is very difficult with my dad because he has to make sure everybody's on the same page <laughs> Kitty, are you on the veg shijuan page <laughs> i'm on the veg shijuan you are not on the veg shijuan page you're still in soup <laughs> can you come to veg shijuan page i'm like dad i can't because i don't have the menu because waiters do this weird thing when they distribute the menu they they guess who's educated or not <laughs> You get it. You get it. You get it. You, get it. you no. They're not gonna pay. You take it. It's like they don't have enough money. Like my gosh. You only have four in the world. You can't drink more. It's awesome. And waiters. I like waiters are very different in different restaurants. Okay. Like waiters, I love. I love like the, the more moral the restaurant is. The less of shit you get, the more it's true. a privilege to have him be like, oh, uh, the designer can't be like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's an expensive restaurant, that annoying, that annoying little hassle, hi, hi. Uh, yes. Please take a seat, are you having a good time? Are you having a good time? Yeah? Sure? Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of the meal, you're telling him hi, I was watching you from there. <laughs> That's right. You gotta eat everything. You gotta eat everything. Yeah. So what does my dad decide to do? Everybody, team up! <laughs> <laughs> you want yours to eat, come on! And the waiter came to take one rule of this, sir. No, no, pass on this! Tomorrow dinner is sorted. Uh -huh. You can eat it, it's nice. Yes, you can have it. Ah, sweet, thank you. You guys are not doing shit! My god! These rich people, no? Say, oh, no. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check again. How many of you guys have ever called for the manager in a restaurant? I've never. Huh? Come on, come on. Don't lie. How many guys call for manager? Yeah? Anyone from here? Yeah, you have? You have? You have? Okay, you guys are rich. Okay? I'll tell you what. When poor people have food, no? at the end of it, they thank God. Like, thank you, we got food and they leave. That's, that's we're grateful. That we have food in our belly. Rich people know. I don't like this. Call the manager. I love managers. They are these mystery creatures that appear like ninja. I agree with that. Hey. 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 Hey.
talking about i think we've all kind of experienced in our, our own uh, times and eating yeah. at restaurants the thing i experience every single time without fail this might be more of an american thing but the food will just have been dropped off and the moment it's dropped off by the food deliverer the server will come and go how's it tasting i know it's like, like so f- I, I didn't taste it yet right? exactly i haven't even put my fork into the dish yet can you give me a goddamn second so there's that we'll eat and whatever and then I, one of two things will happen. I'll have food in my mouth, and they'll come back and be like, so how's it tasting? I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know. What, what do you want from me? Or the other thing is, I'll be in the middle of an interesting story that I'm telling, and then the waiter will come in and be like, so, what do you guys want to drink? Mm, I'm like, just- Not now? <laughs> you're, you're, you're interrupting the flow of the story, yo. Just like, come back later. So by the time we're done ordering drinks or food or whatever, then the story's just not even important anymore. No. It happens to me that when I sit here, they come so, so fast that you don't have a chance to look at the menu. Like, oh, what are you ordering? Okay, I need two more minutes. Okay, two more minutes, exactly. They come back. Yeah. I mean, what are you ordering? Yeah. And I take some time. Right. But I, actually, when he was saying about, you know, uh, returning like what you order, yeah. I never do that. I don't like doing that. I feel bad if I have like, you know. I try not to because in the states they'll it's you know it's known that they might spit in your food yeah when they bring your food back to you well not in front of you but like my uh, in the kitchen i think about that so that's why i don't do it and then you know like when he was saying about people not knowing that what they want and then like specifically what he was saying about rich people but it happens to me that let's say you, you go uh you go on t- to buy ice cream and some people like i want to try this flavor and then this flavor and then you are waiting and they are trying everything they are so nice they let you try whatever you want but i i don't i don't like doing that it's just yeah. oh i try one and yeah sure i like that one yeah. i feel like you know i don't want to make you, people wait <laughs> you, yeah you don't want to impose or take up other people's time I yeah, get it. yeah but then then people stay there for half an hour trying flavors that does irritate me when i'm in line at a dessert place a yogurt place or something. There's a person in front of me who's doing exactly that, just taking their time. Yeah. I'm like, I know what I want, yo. 
get just get out of the way, let me do my transaction, and then you can continue sampling everything. God damn it. And the other thing that happens to me is uh, there's a place where, with self-serving yogurt called the Yogurt Land or, okay, or, or, yes, play, or Pink Berry, things like that, where I'll fill up my yogurt and I don't get much. I just get a little bit just to get the taste of it because yeah. it's a lot of sugar. Yeah. And I'll sure enough, I'll get in line behind someone who doesn't know how to pay for food and they'll take forever to do the transaction. And my yogurt's melting in front of me and I'm like, duh! And I'll just lose my mind. That's like dessert stuff. It's not really a restaurant situation. Uh, what happens also here is that sometimes they bring you the check and you don't even ask for the check. And right. maybe like we talk when my sister is here visiting, it's like, well, what if we want to dessert? Right. You know? well, they <laughs> like, just assume you're not gonna yeah. order dessert. <laughs> Women never okay. order dessert. I do. <laughs> no, I'm just joking around. <laughs> I rarely order dessert at restaurants because like he was saying in the video, like dessert is often as, as expensive as a meal here yes. in the States. If a meal is $10, dessert's nine. I'm like, why is the dessert so much money? That's ridiculous. If they give you half a portion of the dessert and made it half price, more people would order it. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you to Thank Kenny you. Sebastian for letting us react to this video. Really appreciate it. Check out Natalia on the social media. I was gonna give a go at your last name, but I thought, forget it, not worth it. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, and video game related videos. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Natalia Abelheira. Peace out.